Hey, how is it going in this video? I'm going to be talking about connectivity and telecoms and what those concepts are. Connectivity and telecommunications are essential components of our modern world, enabling exchange of information, data, and communication across various devices and networks. These terms encompass a wide range of uh, technologies and services that keep people and business connected. Let's take a look at some of the aspects of connectivity and telecommunications. Now let's start with networks. Uh, various types of networks from the backbone of telecommunications. These include uh, a <laughs> very interesting way of wording things, but either way. These include wired networks like fiber optics and copper cables. Uh, this is how they currently do it, if anything. Uh, perhaps there is a better way of doing it. They, uh, currently, they're using copper cables, which perhaps some of those areas that could be improved. So where they can potentially improve effectiveness and efficiency. So there are, uh, there are a lot of opportunities with some of those industries here as well as wire, uh, wireless networks such as cellular, Wi-Fi and satellite networks. There's a lot of opportunities within those areas as well. I was looking uh, for some of those grants as well as receiving finance. So in particular right now within UK, uh, some of those organizations are there looking for uh, companies who can improve Wi-Fi uh, connections. So they are looking to improve uh, distance <laughs> in which Wi-Fi networks can operate uh, so it would be perhaps just a matter of time and IOTs or Internet of Things uh, where devices need to be talking to each other as well as how much attention opportunities are with some of those industries there and satellite networks it's something I mentioned already but perhaps that would be overall ideally <laughs> but again uh, perhaps not the best but uh, based on what the satellite networks are made for well perhaps that would be areas how that area can improve all the networks <laughs> but perhaps currently we're using all the uh, small devices just because we have to where we are with the technology perhaps that can overcome all the areas right each type serves different purposes and has its own advantages as well yeah so once we improve some of those technologies, hopefully we don't need to have those cell towers, right? Which can be costly. Even Germany right now, uh, we're talking about uh, hundreds, thousands of millions. Uh, recently, they spent its uh, public knowledge, right? So on 5G network, uh, and uh, they continue to building those towers. I don't know if everyone knows, but there was a lot of pushback. From, uh, coming from government where they were deciding if they should keep uh, pursue of building those cell networks using some of those companies up there uh, the contract size was 800 million I believe if I'm not mistaken so there are as I mentioned there, there are still a lot of opportunities up there <laughs> still a lot of money up there Internet. Uh, the internet is a global network that connects millions uh, of devices worldwide. It's a massive network of uh, uh, smaller networks that facilitate the exchange of information access to website and various online services. So there are a lot of uh, potentially ways how people can, can communicate, especially looking at the history, how everything got started. Uh, and uh, some opportunities out there. <laughs> perhaps uh, worth taking a look at those, and uh, perhaps I could cover the house in more detail next week. I have heard, I uh, don't know if it's reputable sources, how a thing got started. Perhaps worth taking a look. Uh, some people might be interested in those areas. Telecommunication services. Telecommunication companies provide a range of services, including voice communications. Landlines, I don't know if <laughs> perhaps <laughs> perhaps some, some, some people are still using those. Perhaps uh, uh, in case of emergency, uh, might be worth having those. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in case, I don't know, I don't know. And mobile phones. 
<coughs> data services, internet access, and uh, multimedia services, TV, streaming, etc. Right. So uh, some of those uh, as well as uh, uh, we're taking a look at some of the history and how things uh, got started with the phone creation and everything. Uh, about what some people are interested as well as how it progressed and where things are moving and uh, how things got started. Wireless communication. Mobile phones and other wireless devices have revolutionized communication. Cellular networks allow users to make calls and text access the internet from virtually anywhere. Perhaps uh, some of those networks and how those networks can operate the, the, they do have a lot of finances as well, but again, <laughs> it's uh, how many uh, companies can actually enter uh, this kind of market, <laughs> if anything. <clears throat> but I was working a look at the history of how things got started, just because that's uh, something that people might be interested in. I don't know if I'll be sharing some of the projects and uh, who I'm going to actually speak to. So five people <laughs> out of millions who are actually interested in some of the versions of that. I wish there would be more people, more competition within the markets, but for some reason, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Is it hard to enter some of those markets? <laughs> so people are limited to enter those markets since there are funding available who, for businesses who are interested, there is a funding available. Fiber optics. Fiber optics cables are used for high speed data transmission, especially some of those cables coming from US in Europe and crossing some of those places. Uh, one of those places being Ireland and <laughs> seems the overall the country is doing very well. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, they are used light signals to transmit data and are crucial for high speed internet and telecommunications infrastructure. Some of those areas, uh, perhaps even moving away from perhaps cables, uh, but currently the cable seems to be doing very well, perhaps having those cables just in case, but uh, if anything, perhaps there would be a lot of opportunities moving away from cables. Uh, that's my personal understanding. Satellite communication. Satellite play a significant role in long distance communications. Again, how many people can enter this market? It's very hard. You know, perhaps. If you can develop your skills right now, there's a lot of opportunities to develop your skills in those industries. Once you start making money, perhaps then you can put the, together a project, right? Since we can all agree, perhaps, that there would be a lot of opportunities with satellite communications, especially what's currently happening in China. Some of those areas, new markets are popping up uh, constantly. And uh, how many companies so was able to enter that market? Seven, <laughs> ten. <laughs> so how many people I'm talking to? <laughs> so if someone's struggling, perhaps, and they're looking to decide what kind of uh, skill set you should develop, I would recommend taking a look at some of those communication industries and uh, how we can develop uh, knowledge, expertise with those industries. They use uh, for broadcasting TV signal, global positioning systems like GPS and connecting remote uh, regions to the internet. Perhaps currently, this is what uh, some of those problems that they're currently uh, solving, but there might be other use cases so that it could potentially benefit large groups of people with. Voice over IP, voice IP technology enables voice communications over internet. Services like, uh, without promoting any projects, uh, making uh, available for the users option of uh, calling each other using internet connection. So it, perhaps that's uh, one of those markets that was started uh, not that long ago and similar opportunities might be available in the future. Internet of Things, IOTs involves connecting various devices and sensors to the internet to collect and exchange data. So there uh, are currently, as well as perhaps there's going to be a lot of opportunities in the future in this industry. This enables smart homes, smart cities, and industrial automation. Since this era can offer a lot of value, right? Where you can outsource everything to technology, to for software to monitor everything possibly. Especially is for the work, if you are interested in working with someone else. There are a lot of uh, logistical companies who might be interested in hiring <laughs> workforce. Uh, some of the large companies up there might be have right now half of its uh, workforce and uh, been working with for a company. 
uh, not longer than two years <laughs> based on the research that I have done as well as they would need to have or already have some background in IT technology so 5G technology, the fifth generation of wireless technology as well as they already looking to improve that and perhaps something that uh, Germany was looking perhaps they can progress from 5 to 6 if they can and with small upgrades we can perhaps jump from one to another ideally and some of those areas that they're looking or issues they're looking to solve with the next generation but l l let's start with 5 it's something that I cover, cover already but for people who are interested promises faster data speeds lower latency and greater connectivity which will further enable applications like uh, automation of vehicles and augmented reality hopefully and uh, this technology is particularly looking for very dense areas right so 5g or perhaps uh, 5, uh, 6g we're going to be looking to solve a problem of internet connection uh, to very dense areas where satellite communication perhaps looking to wider spread or uh, so they, this is a particular problem that they're looking to solve with that perhaps that uh, technology can be improved as well telecom regulations government regul uh, regulates telecom industry to ensure fair competition consumer protection and national security these regulations often vary from country to country uh, whatever country you are in <laughs> let me ask you a question right how many companies are there <laughs> i don't know one two <laughs> so it's so govern the regulations right <laughs> so again so uh, <laughs> connectivity in business reliable telecom services are crucial for businesses supporting uh, operations customer service enable remote work ideally uh, hopefully there's a uh, future would be able to enable more people of being able to operate from comfort of their home perhaps look after kids i don't know <laughs> reducing carbon emissions i don't know <laughs> Uh, hopefully if that's something that they're interested in i don't know about setting and how professional a setting might be <laughs> either way, either way. <laughs> emerging technologies so if anything let's focus on those other telecom industry continues to evolve with new technologies such as quantum computing a new industries all right uh, edge computing and development of 6g networks so that's new industries that are looking into you pop up as well as so there's a lot of finance and opportunities in those industries people who are interested in finding out more i have published a book in this book i'm sharing all the information with all the people who are interested in finding out more i have published with the idea of bringing everyone up to speed as well as what the market is going to be like within the next five to ten years so if you are interested or perhaps starting a business or you haven't started yet but you're currently doing research as well as once you start a business and you're looking to understand how perhaps to operate your business in a better way as well as if you have access to extra capital and you're looking to invest that capital there's a lot of information for all the people who would like to learn more with those industries and I have hope uh, to share this book with as many people as I can if anything <laughs> You can find it in the description below as well as Top Retailers has this book. Connectivity and telecommunications are fundamental to our connected world, driving innovation and enabling global communications and collaboration. As technology continues to advance, these fields will remain at the pro uh, forefront of social and economic development. Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> uh, there are some opportunities out there within those industries as well as let's uh, carry on and highlight a couple more of those. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.